Yeah, good morning, it's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Tuesday the 4th of September 2018. This is just my daily video on where I go over what I've done this morning on the daily charts only. That'll be on the high probability and the Mod MACD trading methods from the books. So um, let's look at it, it's a fairly quiet start. There was a few new trades. We'll start with the Mod MACD. As you can tell, this is my Mod MACD profile on MT4. Just looking at my notes, New Zealand Japanese Yen. Uh, this morning took a new sell trade on this point here. Fast MACD through the zero level. There's a red QMP dot. Price closed on the other side of the 25 SMA. Had to wait one day to confirm everything. Um, for the cross, that's the most important indicator. The standard MACD is not in sell mode yet, but there's enough criteria there for me to take the sell trade. And the filter I'm trialing at the moment says take the trade. So that's a New Zealand Japanese yen. That's the only bit of action on the uh, mod MACD charts. I'll switch over to the high probability daily charts. In the meantime, I'll have a quick look at the news. Just be careful this morning, 11.30, which for me is about four and a bit hours. We've got the Aussie Australian interest rate news, all right? So um, it's funny how it's disappeared. It was there yesterday, but it's 1.5 the uh, rate, and they're expecting it to remain the same. But it all depends what is written in this statement and what later on in the day when the RBA gov let, um, low speak so just be careful today Aussie interest rate so it could be a mover on the Australian pairs let's have a look at the high probability daily charts we'll start with a pound yen new sell trade taking taken here MA's are down there's divergence you can see the red trend line there um, my only concern here is I've got no bearish JagFX RD uh, I would have liked to have seen orange JagFX RD here somewhere, but there's none. So it's a little bit of a risk, um, but everything else looks pretty good. It's it, Again, it's one of these divergences where it looks a little bit ugly. It doesn't look like the, the end of this trend line looks like it's in sort of nowhere, but it's this little, see it's come down, pulled up, a little fractal there, that high there, that'll be the red sort of dot which matches there, you can see that. So it looks a little bit awkward, a little bit not quite right, but it's, that's still a, a valid uh, divergence. And again, I know it's on the wrong side of the MACD, uh, the zero level of the MACD, but as long as one side's on the correct side, which obviously this side is here, then it's good to go. So yeah, it's come up to the MAs nicely, then dropped down, but my concern is that lack of JAG FXRD, but Let's see how we go. So that's the pound yen, new sell. Pound Aussie um, took a new sell on this, this this morning also. Same sort of deal, similar sort of divergence. A regular, oh, well that's not regular. That'd be um, a hidden, sorry, hidden bearish divergence. Ignore that because that's I'm still on a buy trade from back here. You can see the buy trade gone up I've already closed half of that stops in place here so I've taken a sell so I've got a partial hedge here I've still got half a buy on full sell this morning see how we go but you, know, you can see price has got up to the 50 EMA and hopefully it'll roll over again to the downside MACD is above the zero level divergence so it's not a bad setup and we've got JagFX RD bearish there so partial hedge so all good that's the pound USD Pound Swiss franc. Oh, I spoke about this on the weekly video. Uh, basically, I'm going to sell back here. I've already closed half of that, and that's a stop for the sell there. I took another buy last week sometime. That was stopped out. So the buy has been stopped out. So no longer in that buy trade. Um, so I'm going to delete all that. So just in the sell trade. And if I close that sell trade right now, It'd be double the profit of the loss from that buy trade, so it's no big deal. So there's still that there was always that partial hedge on there, and so and that at the moment I think that's about 700 pips or something. So it's a oh, not quite that. Sorry, 
but it's a fair decent move down I could probably bring this stop low on the sell trade uh, but there is a potential that we could take another buy depending if we get another buy signal and this divergence remains intact look to the upside all right so that's the pound Swiss still on the sell and the buy was stopped there and finally Aussie New Zealand I'm gonna sell back here and this morning we've got a blue dot on the MACD platinum below the zero level. I'm stuck. I've already started drawing my possible divergence for a buy trade, like bullish divergence. You can see the green trend lines, but there is one there, trust me. So all I did this morning because of that, I just dropped down on the four hour chart and just looked for a place to bring my stop down, which is above this high in here. I could have probably put a little bit higher across all those highs still inside the entry point but I just want to jam it up a bit so the stop is here all I did was move my stop down to 109672 just to protect the other half of the trade and lock a little bit of profit that's Aussie New Zealand that's about it guys um, all I can say is be careful that if you're in any nope there goes my signals just be careful if you're in any Aussie pairs today trade wise um, not sure how the interest rate news is going to go it may be a fizzer may not be who knows other than that if you like these videos please subscribe and if you don't subscribe just at least hit the like button do us a favor <laughs> all right i'll chat later thanks very much for watching